And hello everyone. So this video is probably going to be a bit shorter than the other ones, but I just wanted to take some time and share with you some of the editor improvements I'm working on, which are going to be part of uh, version 1.1 for RPG Builder. So um, first thing is that uh, I am having two projects open now. This one is still the uh, you know old editor, which is the one you're currently using, the one that uh, version 1.0.4 shipped with. And here we have this other project, which is the current version of the editor for me, um, which is going to ship with 1.1. So um, if we go here, the editor that we all know of, uh, one of the first thing a lot of people ask in the community, and trust me, I also wanted to do this for a long time myself, is that we can't actually rescale it. Like if I go here, I can't actually rescale it. And if I dock this um, here, you see that the layout is completely stuck like that. Like it's literally not going to uh, dynamically scale or whatever, uh, which is, you know, not only ugly, but it's also um, annoying and not, it's making it difficult for a lot of people to work with uh, when they use big monitors. So if I now go to the updated version, you see that I can actually now scale it however I want uh, in height, width. Now I can make it very big. The um, half of it is on my second monitor. And I can, of course, take it back to the normal size if I wanted to. And we can now easily dock it, go full screen, and everything is going to be you know, a lot easier to look at and to work with. So this was for the scaling part. You see also that now every single thing we are hovering is actually highlighted. It's not a major change or whatever, but it's a pretty good improvement to make it a bit more um, nice to look at and intuitive to use. Um, because if you look at this, right now I'm hovering things and everything looks so static, right? Um, so that was another small improvement. Now you see that um, we also have something different here. So uh, let me go to the other one. You see that here we're looking at the Axe um, Auto Attack ability. And this ability has a few ranks. And if we have those ranks open, you see that it quickly becomes really, really overwhelming in terms of um, having all this data visible to us. If we wanted to find something specific, it would you know, require to scroll a lot. It's really confusing. Um, so what I did is something I wanted to do for a while now is that I made it possible to collapse every single one of those, um, uh, kind of like banners, you know, that splitting sections. So base info, ranks, unlock settings, etc. So as you can see here, uh, you can fully collapse them. So in this case, we don't really see much, right? But if I click on base info, we can now see, um, the icon, right? whatever is in the base info, right? Now we can see the wrong data and uh, I can of course also collapse the wrongs, but this was already possible before. I can add new wrongs, was also possible before, but as we can see, it's now a lot easier to look at your data. And if I go to, for example, rank one, I can decide to show or hide the talent tree settings. Same for the requirement. And as you can see here, another improvement is that I recenter the element so that it's even more obvious, for example, uh, when we um, have things which are um, part of a different section. If it was, you know, centered here, it would be kind of looking like if it's still part of the same section. Um, so I made it kind of more centered um, uh, here on the middle, right? So once again, you know, like I said, you can um, pretty much the same things than before, right? Like see, um, it's not like a new feature or something. It's more like an improvement in the layout. So, um, and this is saved. So for example, if I now uh, go ahead and, you know, close the editor and uh, reopen it, you will see that activation settings and ability type will still be open um, just like this. So you can, you know, um, save that. You don't really have to save this, but it's just going to be automatically saved. And um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And you know, it's just making it a lot easier because now, for example, we could have like 10 applied effects if we wanted to, but then now that we're done editing them, we can just collapse them and work on something else. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much all the things I got done so far. Um, there are other things I want to do for the editor, but I'm going to keep it for another video. And yeah, definitely let me know what you think of it in the comments and in Discord. It's going to help me, you know, uh, improve it even further. Or maybe um, you can suggest things that I didn't think of. And um, I'm going to make sure to add it if I think it's, you know, making sense. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.